58 countries, including China, France and Australia, signed a joint statement on inclusive and sustainable artificial intelligence for people and the planet at the AI Action Summit in Paris on Tuesday, February 11, 2025. This statement, which seeks to make AI more accessible and human-centric, ethical, safe, secure and trustworthy, is a third international statement on AI and it focused on five themes. Public interest AI, future of work, innovation and culture, trust in AI, and global AI governance. The statement, however, was not signed by the United States and the United Kingdom. American workers a seat at the table, and we're very proud of that. To further the human-centric idea in AI, countries such as France, India, Germany, and others have launched a public interest AI platform and incubator. This initiative is to decrease the division between existing public and private initiatives on public interest AI and address the digital divides. It will aim to co-create a trustworthy AI ecosystem, advancing the public interest by supporting technical assistance and capacity building projects in data, model development, transparency, audit, compute, talent, financing and collaboration. The third AI summit saw a departure from the safety concerns surrounding AI, which was the central theme of the previous two summits, stating excessive regulation could cripple the emerging AI technology. Excessive regulation of the AI sector could kill a transformative industry just as it's taking off. US Vice President J.D. Vance further said, at this moment, we face the extraordinary prospect of a new industrial revolution, one on par with the invention of the steam engine. But it will never come to pass if over-regulation deters innovators from taking the risks necessary to advance the ball. Never have I encountered a breakthrough in tech that so clearly calls us to do precisely the opposite. In 2024, Meta founder and chief executive Mark Zuckerberg and 100 other experts pointed directly to Europe's laggard progress in AI by writing an open letter accusing the excessive regulations behind Europe's slow progress in AI. Amidst the ambitious framework around AI, journalist Shakil Haseen wrote in his newsletter Transformer that corporate executives took the center stage in the summit while the International Science of AI Safety Report was held in a side event. The AI Safety Report is framed by 100 AI experts and is the world's first comprehensive synthesis of current literature on the risks and capabilities of advanced AI systems. AI's energy demand is already being felt. To put it in perspective, a single ChatGPT query demands around 2.9 watt hours of electricity, nearly 10 times more than that of a Google search, and this will only compound in the future. According to Goldman Sachs, the power demands from data centers will grow by 160% by 2030, and the social cost, which in this case is the carbon dioxide emission incurred to satisfy the demands of data centers, is at a cost of $125 to $140 billion. According to IEA, data centers consumed 1.65 billion gigajoules of electricity in 2022, about 2% of the global demand. By 2026, their total electricity consumption by AI could reach more than 1,000 terawatt hours, which is roughly equivalent to the electricity consumption of Japan. The average power consumption of these large data centers are 100 megawatts or more. To put this into perspective, it is the annual electricity demand for 350,000 to 400,000 electric cars. 